everyone. Now what you guys just saw was this little rig right here. Um, I have a 360 uh, panning uh, head here. It's called a Black Bolt. I'll be doing a full review on this in the future. But basically what I've made here is a really simple uh, slider uh, setup. Mainly you guys are going to be using this for doing time lapse. Really, really slow movement. And so what this is actually is um, what I have set up here is a 360 degree servo. I got this off of Banggood. I think it was anywhere between five and ten dollars, somewhere around there. Uh, it has one of the circle heads and I have a, um, a, a bobbin um, hot glued to the top of it basically. So you can still take the head off and everything because you can still access the screw. Um, and basically I have a real simple setup. Um, the a servo tester with a battery pack. So I have this all hot glued down onto a piece of foam board and you know if you need a little bit of weight you can just take some some sort of a weight and put it right down on the foam boards. So what I have this for is this is a um, you guys have seen this in some of my videos I actually use this for doing uh, slider shots sometimes when I'm doing product reviews. Alright guys so you don't need to use a panning timer if you have one that's great um, but what this little cart does is it, it allows you to make give you some really nice slow movement while you're doing your time lapses so you can actually put your camera rig straight on top of your skate here. Um, basically I've made a, a little clip for the end. I just bent this out of wire and um, I'm gonna go ahead and clip this to uh, the end bolt here and I'll go ahead and move this. And you can see how slow this can be actually. This is the fastest setting that I have. But when you're doing time lapses you want things to be going very very slow. You guys can see how slow that is right now. That is going to be a perfect speed for doing time lapses as you're uh, panning through your scene. So I'm planning on taking this up to Kite Hill, throwing some of my cameras on here, and just doing some static um, time lapse shots. Well, okay guys, so one of the disadvantages to a system like this is obviously if you have this out and about on the f in the field, and you have a sidewalk that you know you're doing a time lapse from over here to over here, and then suddenly the sl sidewalk slants down. Your skate is going to go rolling forward in a fast rate. So the only way you can really uh, get around that is to make sure that there's no slopes, uh, or you make sure you're going downhill, or have some sort of a track like this one. And I do um, use this track often for uh, doing my uh, tracking shots. Okay, guys. So you don't need to use a panning uh, timer for this. Uh, you can get some great time lapses just using this little uh, nine dollar skate wheel uh, but this is super simple it's just using thread I could probably use a less stretchy thread that'll make this smooth even smoother so and what this basically does is it gives you a little bit of um, movement through your time lapses it really gives it a nice effect so it's just real super simple I thought I'd pass that little tip along to you guys and please uh, hit that like and subscribe if you like this uh, little tutorial and I'll talk to you guys later bye